This is our iPad Wireless One switch, item number 1164. Today I'd like to show you how it works and how to set it up with your iPad. This interface is a Bluetooth connected device which allows you to use between one and two switches with your iPad. So let's get started. The switch comes with a removable clear cover so you can put pictures or icons if you'd like. You can also remove it if you don't need this. This uses a lithium ion rechargeable battery so there's no batteries to add or remove. It gets charged via an included micro USB cable, which you plug in here, and connect it to any external USB wall charger, such as the one that comes with your iPad. Just plug it in here, plug it into your wall. It takes about three hours to charge. So here you have your power LED and also the Bluetooth indicator, power button. And down here is your mode changer. This interface can operate in four different modes. The most popular one is mode five, which is for assistive technology, and also mode four, which is used for media such as YouTube and iTunes. In addition, there are two input jacks for external switches, if you'd like to use it with an external switch as well, such as this switch or a sip and puff or head switch. The big button, on top is mimicking the port numbered 1-2. If you need to use port 3-4 for apps that require a two-switch or again for media such as YouTube or iTunes where you want to advance to the next track or song, you will require one of another external switch which gets plugged into port 3-4. So next I'd like to take you over to the iPad and show you how to set it up. First thing you want to do is power up the interface, hit the power button. Okay, so you want to go into your iPad settings and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. So once the device shows up, you want to tap on it to pair it. It'll, it'll ask you to pair it, you say yes. Okay, now we're connected, we can close this out. One other thing you want to take note is under general settings, when you're using switch friendly apps, under accessibilities, you want to make sure switch control is turned off. Switch control is used for non-switch friendly apps. The iPad wireless switch interface has four modes. Modes four and five are utilized for the iPad. Mode five is known as the assistive technology mode, which replicates the space enter key and is used for switch friendly apps. Mode four is media, which allows you to play, pause, and go to next track for YouTube and also for iTunes. Modes two and three are used for PC and Mac computers to work with Windows, Microsoft documents, or PDF files for pages up and down or arrow up and down. There is no other available modes such as mode one. The default mode is mode five for assistive technology for switch friendly apps, which is the space enter key. We're going to go into the iPad's Note app, and this way we can test the setting to make sure we're on the default mode 5. So you open up Notes, tap on a new note, make sure the cursor is flashing. Now if we hit the big red button, it's going to replicate hitting the space bar, which it does. And if we plug a switch into port 3-4, it is going to replicate hitting the enter key and it does. So we know we're good for mode five. So we can get out of here and I can take you into an app and show you how it works. Every app's a little different, but when we're going into this app, because we're using an external switch, we want to tap on the settings and enable the switch, which we did, and you can exit out. Start the app by hitting play. This is a simple cause and effect app. We're using just a single switch for this app. Uh, AAC apps like Sounding Board and ProLocal to Go would actually usually require two switches. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Mm-hmm.
That shows you how it works with a simple switch app. Now I'd like to show you how to change it to mode four and we're gonna use it with YouTube. So you wanna hold it on the rim here. It's pretty wide so you have plenty of room to hold on to it. So to change the mode, your mode selector is here. You're gonna press and hold that for four red flashes. Once you get to the fourth red flash, you release it and then the, both lights will flash four times. If you make a mistake and you go to five or you do six times, just go back and start over again. You're not gonna do anything wrong with the device. So here we go, just one, two, three, four. Release, and then we got four consecutive flashes. So when I hit the big red switch, it's going to play pause the video. If I plug a second switch in, ports three, four again, that is going to go to the next video. You can purchase these items on our website at enablingdevices.com or through phone sales at 1-800. So if you use the second switch, you can go to the next video. purchase this item through our website at enablingdevices.com or through our phone sales at 1-800-832-8697.